Shakespeare is certainly part of our modern culture and literature today. Shakespeare's work itself is modern, however it's hardly a modern idea. In order to solve whether or not it is important to our generation and the kind of value it holds to us, we can begin by looking at the literary canon. Throughout education, it's redeemed compulsory for us to study Shakespeare, such as his plays and poetry. We'll even find ourselves knowing certain works of his more than others as a result. But to what extent is this valued? Here at Brunel, to commemorate the 400th year death anniversary, we created this documentary to explore Shakespeare's influence in modern culture today. As a group, we visited the Senate House Library, which is a central library for the University of London and offers arts, humanities and social science research collection. The library has access to millions of books, journals and digital resources. During one of our discussions, we were told that being rare indicates that there are one or two copies with specific annotations and if it is dedicated to anyone and who. Roughly 250 copies of the Shakespeare first folio currently exist in the world out of about 750 printed. This is considered a high amount for its time. Although 250 copies is still a vast amount, it just goes to show how important it was for us to hold on to these copies. We were shown a range of texts from folios, quartos and pamphlets. We were then told that folios were found more expensive than, say, pamphlets. This is because folios, of course, were produced on a bigger scale, which required more material, time and effort. Whereas pamphlets were smaller and cheaper, as they were often disbound from a collection of works to separate the different texts. We also visited the Globe Theatre, which stands a few hundred yards from its original site. The project to rebuild Shakespeare's Globe was initiated by Sam Wanamaker, who in 1970 founded the Shakespeare's Globe Trust, the final attempt to rebuild a faithful recreation of the theatre, close to its original bankside, Southwark location. Back on campus, we asked our lecturers what their thoughts were in regards to the impact Shakespeare has made on modern culture. Do you agree Shakespeare should be kept in the literary canon? My research is into the Shakespeare authorship question and I'm not particularly interested in who exactly the writer was. I'm much more interested in the Shakespeare authorship question as a cultural phenomenon. I would say that Shakespeare is still studied so much as he's become a kind of measure of quality or a measure of a certain level of education. And so if you were to come to university to study literature. Uh, many universities, maybe all universities, would find it very strange if you hadn't done some Shakespeare. Now why would they find that strange? In many ways, if you pull back a bit, um, if you've studied Toni Morrison and you've um, studied her in depth, why is that any less in terms of quality or educational value than having studied Shakespeare? Well, uh, Harold Bloom, the eminent uh, literary critic, felt that Shakespeare had in fact invented the modern person. That really before Shakespeare, people didn't have a sense of themselves as characters, uh, the way that they are in Shakespearean plays. So many people think that Shakespeare's arrival in the early modern period marked a significant alteration in human consciousness itself. So that's kind of how important some serious English critics have rated him, not simply as a literary innovator, but a kind of innovator in the psyche itself. The plays are, in, and the poetry are encyclopedic. Uh, they're also mythopoeic. They create an entire world of their own that bears some correspondence to our world, but has its own internal rules, laws, uh, and uh, kind of modes of being. Uh, and there are very, very few artists who create with that degree of force and power. Uh, and, of course, the poetry itself is astonishing. I mean, it, it uh, almost all of the techniques that you see right up until the modernist poetry of the 20th century, you can see previewed in some way, shape or form in Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. To what extent do you believe that Shakespeare has impacted modern culture even 400 years after his death? modern culture. I think you only have to see the cues at the Globe to see that he still has an appeal. People 
are drawn towards the Elizabethan Jacobean period as a fascinating period of history and to participate in something that happened during that time that also mm -hmm. commented on that time and gives you a sense of how it was to live in that time will always have a cultural cachet as long as people are interested in it. We then asked our lecturers to give us their favourite Shakespeare quotes. There are so many lines, so many beautiful lines, but actually the one that always rattles around in my head, which everybody knows, but I think perhaps don't really want to fully apprehend what its meaning is, is, is uh, we are such stuff as dreams are made of. And we are. And by dreams, we don't mean aspirations. We mean the surreal, fissiparous world of the Oneric. That kind of dream. Okay, when asked what my favourite Shakespeare quote is, simple answer is, I don't have one. Simply for the fact that there are too many. If I was asked to pick my favourite part in Shakespeare, I would say look to the exchange between Benedict and Beatrice, because you don't get a sexy spat much better than that. Oh here, will I set my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world-weary flesh. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And lips, O oh you, the doors of breath, seal with a righteous kiss, a dateless bargain to engrossing death. Lips, O oh you, the doors of breath. I find that so beautiful. So is Shakespeare really relevant today? We asked around campus to see if the public could give us their favourite quotes. I must be cruel only to be kind. Thus bad begins and worse remains behind. Is it a dagger I see before me? Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn, golden bubble. <laughs> To be or not to be, that is the question. Can this cockpit hold the vasty field of France? These words are raises to my wounded heart. <laughs>